Now, being as I was driving nearly 100 miles south to visit Bella's Nap for the first time, I couldn't resist revisiting the roll rights on the way. It'd be rude not to. And for anybody who doesn't know, the roll right stones are an extremely ancient site located on the Oxford and Warwickshire border. The complex consists of uh, three main elements. You've got the Kingsman Stone Circle, the Kingstone and the Whispering Knights. I've also found some other little snippets up there as well, which I'll tell you later. Now these three megalithic monuments span 2,000 years of Neolithic and Bronze Age development and each site dates from a different period. And before any of these meg megalithic monuments were built at the Roll Rites, there had already been human activity on the ridge since the late Mesolithic. There are 70 odd stones at the Stone Circle and are famously uncountable but originally may have numbered about 150 standing shoulder to shoulder. And the circle is about 31 metres across, and it's of heavily weathered local Jurassic Oolitic limestone, and is formed from an ancient seabed, 160 million years old. Now, much of the highly pitted texture of the stones is said to be the pro product of previous natural processes. When they lay on the ground as exposed boulders, and eroded through chemical interactions of plants, water, air, together with frost and wind. And there is stories referring to stones having been taken away to make bridges and the like, and it is likely that this created most of the gaps now visible. And they were poetically described by w William Stukeley as being corroded like worm-eaten wood by the harsh jaws of time. Now, by far the oldest of these three monuments is a Whispering Knights dolmen. It's early Neolithic, five to six thousand years ago, and are about 400 metres east of the Stone Circle. It is a portal dolmen burial chamber that consists of four upright stones and a large fallen capstone. And there were probably more uprights to support the capstone, which would have been placed on top of them. The Whispering Knights were probably one of the earliest funerary monuments in Britain, and pottery found in the immediate vicinity suggests that the tomb was venerated over millennia from the early Neolithic, Beaker and early Bronze Age. And the monument got its name as part of a Saxon legend about a king and his army who were outwitted by a witch and turned to stone. And another legend says that a, a local farmer supposedly took one of the largest stones to make a bridge over a stream. It took 24 horses to drag the stone down the hill and lots of men died on the way. Eventually they got the stone across the stream but by the next morning it had flipped over onto the bank. This happened time and time again and they had to replace it. Then his crops failed amongst other bad things and they decided to put the stone back. They only took one horse to drag it up the hill. The Kingstone is immediately across the road from the other two sites. And immediately northeast, there, there was an early Bronze Age round cairn. It was a central chamber, which the capstone peeped through the grass. It sat exactly at the top of the ridge, with at least one other Bronze Age barrow nearby. So this Kingstone is most likely to have been erected around 1500 BC as a permanent memorial to this burial ground, rather than it being an outlier to the much older stone circle. And the strange shape of this standing stone is due to the destructive habits of 19th century souvenir hunters and cattle drovers who chipped off small pieces to act as lucky charms to keep the devil at bay. And the serious damage caused by so much vandalism was one of the reasons why legal protection for ancient remains was introduced in 1882. And the name of the Kingstone may have originated from, the use, from its use to mark an important meeting place associated with an extensive Saxon cemetery in the vicinity.
Now, in March of 2015, a metal detectorist uncovered several Saxon artefacts and the well-preserved burial of a female aged between 25 to 30 year old. Now, the grave was shallow and undisturbed and when excavated it, came, it contained some exceptional grave goods and it lay some 50 metres northeast of the Kingstone and it indicated a 7th century date for the burial. Now, a long handled copper skillet was lying to the left of her head. There was a circle embossed silver disc inlaid with a single garnet and a silver sheet decorated mount with a crescent. Also buried with a woman was a large faceted rock crystal bead still attached to the remains of a chain and there was traces of a wooden box with silver mounts. Now such boxes are found in well furnished barrels of the 7th century and tend to be associated with females of importance in the community. There is now at least 13 Saxon burials and one cremation discovered in the vicinity of the Rollbar stones now. 